You know, my mentor once told me, he said to me, to be old and wise, you first have to be young and reckless. The number one motivational speaker under 40 in the world got one billion views. When people go through bad things, they don't put it out there. When you go to the loo, do you put that out there? No. When you go, when you go through a bad time in your life, some people put it out there. Good for them. I, you know, whatever feels good for you. When I was in my darkest place, you would never have known because I was trying to get out of it. And my way of getting out of it was by posting content, which made me feel good about myself, which made me like old pictures made me, I put things up and it, it made me feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be good again. Or maybe in one moment of my day, I would put on a, a little dress and, you know, dress back up again or whatever I was going through, I would put it on so I would feel good. And like I say, be it until you become it. You know, that's the name of my new book, right? You'll hear all about this stuff. You have to become the version of you you want to be before you get there. Whatever you are going through, however, down it feels, however dark it feels, put on that outfit. Just go for one second and just feel empowered is the version of you you want to become. I did that for years. People, people would never know what I was going through. I didn't put my illness online and say, hey, I had a hypothyroidism disease, a really high level autoimmune problem that was taking me to being bed bound. Because when you have a really bad overactive thyroid, you're on heart medication, right? And the propofanol that you take, that's what I was taking at the time, along with my medication, it tries to balance your heart. And when, you're in, when you're in that state, you know, you can die from, the, from what I had. That was terrifying. But I didn't even let that hold me back. Because once you surrender to death, once you say, bring it on, whatever, do what I say, whatever you want to do to me, or go on, bring it on. Where, where do you go from there? You feel like, you surrender fully, and guess what happens in that moment? You feel fully free, fully free and relaxed, and you let go fully of what you have been through, and you shake it off, and you just let go, and you feel healed again. I felt healed again. I felt like I've surrendered, and I'm going to be okay again. Yeah, I remember that. When I've left this planet, my name is not the thing I want to carry on. It's my legacy. It's what I did here on planet Earth. It's the lives I have changed and the method that I've implemented with my MBS method. That's what I want to live on. I want that to be my legacy so people know that they too can live their best lives, be their happiest self and have and be and do anything that they want. The only limitations are not what other people say, oh, she's this, he's that. Do you know how many times I got called a fucking porn star? If I did porn, I would fucking own it. I don't care. No, it doesn't matter. Nobody gives a shit. The, like I said, the people that do care, they're small. And they probably got a little one too. They are losers and they only have their own world and shit that they're dealing with. And it's a reflection of what they're going through because all my friends stuck by me when I went through this. This came out 10 years ago of me. My mentor once told me, he said to me, to be old and wise, you first have to be young and reckless. So for all my girls out there today, this is for you. And just remember to anyone, anyone watching this, every girl is someone's daughter. So how would you treat your daughter? How would you want your daughter to be treated? Be the daughter that you want the world to see how you would treat yours as. Be the empowered, beautiful woman you are destined to be. So don't let your circumstances define you. Let them fuel you. Let them fuel where you are meant to go, where you are going, because you are meant for greatness. You were born for greatness. If this didn't happen to you, you would not have rebounded up again and come back to be who you are today. I hope this reaches you.